Hey everyone, Steven the Salon Guy here and happy Thursday. I hope you're all enjoying my new filming schedule where I'm putting out videos every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. So today I'm going to show you guys how to cut layers. Now if you're a professional in the salon industry, it's gonna be very helpful to you. Uh, if you're not a professional, you're still gonna get something from this because I'm, I'm gonna go over something that's really important with hair cutting. So I'm gonna show you different types of, how, of layering hair and how to achieve it, so let's get started. All right, so the first thing you need to ask yourself is, why do you want to create layers? Are you looking to remove weight? Are you looking to build weight? Are you looking to add volume to the hair? Layers can do a lot of great things, but you also have to be careful because if you layer the hair improperly, uh, you can get some serious mistakes and some serious stuff going on you don't want to happen. So I'm gonna break down a couple of different ways how I layer the hair and explain what each one does. So I've got the two front sections here sectioned off and say, for example, if you were to take this a piece right here on the top back of the head, as you see the comb here, and I were to cut this, and I cut it straight across, that hair would then fall down to uh, a certain point. So where, however short you cut it, it's going to fall to that point. And that's where your layering is going to start. So if you bring this all the way up and cut it in the very tips right here, that means it's going to be a longer layer. So if you cut it, say, halfway in through here, it's going to be medium. And then if you cut it really, really short like this, obviously it's shorter layer. So however far up you hold your fingers uh, and however long you leave it, that determines the type of layering, short, medium, or long. So here's a technique that I do sometimes, which if you cut this, it keeps things even, but it really removes a lot, a lot of weight, okay? So if you were to hold this straight up like this, cut it straight across, all right, like cut it straight across. Let me turn this around. There, there's a guide right here, as you can see. Now, if I were to take a section, okay, which I do this often, let's turn the head like this, all right, and we go right down the middle like this, then take another horizontal section right here in the back, all right? right here in the back like that, comb this all straight up like this, okay, comb it all straight up to that first section that you cut, there it is right there, cut this straight across, wow, you just got yourself another layer, all right, now if you continue to do that, again, all the way uh, down, comb it all the way straight up like this to the first section that you cut, you're going to be able to remove a lot, a lot of weight. All right, the good thing about this is that you're keeping everything even. There's no way to make this haircut uh, uneven. Then what happens when you drop it down, let's just zoom in like this and show you guys. What happens is this whole area, as you can see, is layered, but what it does is it removes a lot of the weight in through here. Now, if I were to take this whole thing on the bottom and comb it straight up, it would make it very, very wispy and very fine on the bottom which I don't want that. I never really cut hair like that. What I do is I come in through the bottom like here. All right, I see where my last section was where I cut and then I cut upwards this way. All right, this way I'm maintaining the bottom, uh, the length and also the thickness of it because I don't want to remove too much weight uh, throughout the bottom here. You always want to have a nice solid line throughout the bottom, all right? Now this one I haven't cut any length but there, you can snip it right now. So you've got a nice, beautiful shape uh, with layers and you're removing maximum weight this way. Another technique is, say for example, if you were to hold that straight up like that, like how we just did, all right? And now you're ready to move down the head shape. But now, instead of holding it straight up, you're gonna cut it. Let's bring the camera up again. What you're going to do is you're going to comb it straight out like this. All right, there's the guide, and now you're going to over direct up this way, which is going to leave maximum length. It's gonna remove some weight, but look what's happening, okay? All that hair down into here just fell out. All right, let's do that again on this side here, combing it straight up. There's the guide right there. My left elbow is pointing up this way. The higher you point your elbow, the, the uh, more you're gonna get uh, layering and you might end up building weight you might remove weight but your elbow basically is going to, to help you determine how much hair and how much uh, layering you're going to do now again we're gonna work all the way to the bottom here and there's a section but look all the, that hair dropped out so what you did is you created now uh, layers but you left some weight throughout the bottom so it's a very very safe way 
to <clears throat> keep the length, keep the weight into the bottom, but also add soft layers like this, okay? So as you can see, you're barely cutting anything off, and there's still uh, some weight down into here, whereas before, you removed a lot more weight. All right, now another way you can lay your hair is if you work from the bottom up. If you're working from the bottom up, you're really gonna remove a lot of weight, and you're gonna really layer it uh, pretty heavily. But it's a great way to stay uh, really consistent and really take control of the haircut. And uh, you get to really work from the bottom up, so you're seeing all the internal uh, shape in through the bottom. Because when you work from, from the bottom up, this really where a lot of the weight ends up being is throughout the bottom half of the haircut. That's why if you hold it up this way, you let all this drop, you see haircuts that have a lot of layers and then from here under there's nothing there because you're letting the hair drop out when you bring it up this way. All right, you're being safe, but you're end up, you end up leaving it really, really heavy. Working from the bottom up will help eliminate that because you're actually going from internally throughout the bottom here. Okay, you're starting throughout the bottom. And this is gonna be a great way to really, really add uh, and remove weight in through down here. And then as you work up the head shape, then you change body positioning with your hands and your, and your shoulders, and then you work upwards. So what you've done is you've created a nice shape working from uh, downwards going upwards. All right, so what I've done now is I've taken the clips out, and let's say, for example, now we're ready to work in through the front. So there's a few different options. What you can do is you can take the hair, just like we did in the, in the back part, and you can comb it straight up, all right? And you can see your guide from before, cut it, and then you can work forward, okay? You can take another section right down the middle here. We're not working into the corners or through the sides. Take a section straight up like this, and again, there's your guide, there's the hair it needs to come off, and we're cutting horizontally. By cutting everything horizontally here, you're keeping it all balanced, uh, and you're keeping a nice even shape. But then the key lies uh, here where what do you want to do into the corners? Because if you take this and you then have this corner here, then over extend it this way and cut that way, you're going to be uh, leaving the corner and it's going to lay a little bit uh, flatter in through here. All right, if you were to cut that corner, all right, like this and round it out, that's gonna create a more rounded shape and you might get some volume to it. Or the last thing you can do is you cut it and leave it square like this, where you pull everything straight out and then cut up this way, um, that's really gonna leave uh, a lot of weight in through here. It's not gonna have the best flow. I don't really like doing square layers, um, especially when it comes to longer hair. So what I like to do most of the time on my layers is I usually round everything out. So by rounding it out, you're gonna get a nice even shape uh, throughout both sides and throughout the whole haircut, all right? When you get in through here, you'll see the hair drops out, and that's where you, you leave the hair when it drops. You don't wanna to cut too much because you don't wanna cut that length. You don't wanna make it too wispy. You wanna keep a solid base, especially when you're layering hair. You wanna make sure that base is really, really solid. All right, so here, another example, one more time, is I'm rounding it, so I'm creating a nice full shape around this way. All right, that's how I like to cut my layers most of the time. What I typically do when I'm doing layering, especially throughout the front, is I create my outline first. All right, I cut my base all the way throughout the front, and then I'll determine where I'm going to cut. So say I want the layers to start up here, there's a number of ways you can do it. You can slide cut down like this, all right, and again, as you can see, I'm doing this dry, but you can slide cut down like that, and look, we've got layers already. Okay, there's the the angle, there's the face frame, but what we're doing is we're actually creating a, a creating a guide for our layers, okay? There you go, then you have the whole thing to work in through, there's your guide, and you're gonna bring everything up to that one piece, uh, which is going to be your, your guide. So look, there's a quick way to create layers without making it too thin and without removing um, you know, too, too much weight. You can do the same thing on the other side, or what you can do is on this side, comb the hair down like this, you create your length, and after you're creating your length, then you cut upwards like this. All right, you determine where you want the length to be. You position your elbow pointing up towards the ceiling. You're standing in front, and you're just simply working your way up like that. All right, what that's gonna do, again, that's giving you a, a nice, beautiful uh, baseline and a guide to where you're going to then cut your layers. So when you're cutting 
in through the corner here, like this, and you're going throughout the, the head shape, uh, you, you can see where you cut before, then you can round it, you can cut it square, you can do whatever you want. All right, so I like doing my base guideline first and then creating my layer. Well guys, I know this was a lot of information I went over, but I hope you got something from this. I tried to break down how I do layers and how you can lay your hair, uh, and I hope you get something out of this and you find this video helpful. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on Sunday for more tutorials with a salon guy.